I used to be a big, huge AutoZone fan, right? Back in the 90s, I guess, late 90s. And I got a set of rotating electrical, like four bad starters in a row, two bad alternators. And I always thought O'Reilly's was like the most expensive place you could buy stuff from mm. before I met Napa, right? <laughs> and then I went and bought a, an alternator from O'Reilly's and it was, I don't know, I guess I was just being a cheapskate, but you know, $30 more, $40 more, whatever the case may be. Obviously now they price match. And I didn't have any problems with it and it lasted, I mean, I probably still have it or wherever the car may be. Hopefully it's still running around. So the, and when that happened, I'm like, I'm never buying anything from AutoZone again. I put a big middle finger to AutoZone. Right? So, so I always <laughs> ask every, you know, any guy, you know, any mechanic guy or owner, I'm like, yeah. AutoZone or O'Reilly's. Right, right. Well, some I'm guys are be, like diehard AutoZone, yeah, some guys are diehard I'll be O'Reilly. careful how I answer that. So, <laughs> so I say this. When it comes to brands, so what, for me, I'm very fortunate that we're a very busy shop. Okay. So that means that when we start using a line of alternators or starters, we know pretty quickly whether they're going to last or not. So what I try to do is I try to deal with the places that have good brands, that have good support, and that have really good business-to-business like operations. Okay. So right this minute, O'Reilly does a really good job um, of having their back end, which is called First Call. Yeah. Um, they treat me very well. Um, yeah, and you, and you can, does it integrate with Mitchell? It does. Yes. It does. So, so the thing is, is they have, in my opinion, a really great training for their back end. What would you call it? commercial, commercial section? Yeah, so, commercial, so commercial O'Reilly's, account manager, O'Reilly's right? obviously has the front counter that that everybody goes in for the do-it-yourself stuff and wax and parts and stuff. And then they have a back counter which is called First Call, and that's who we primarily buy a lot of our parts from. Okay. Um, but Napa also is amazing. Uh, Napa's parts are, are really great. They stand behind them second to none. So we're huge fans of Napa and O'Reilly. Okay, but, maybe we should call the section AutoZone, Napa, O'Reilly. Right. So, <laughs> so I, you know, again. See, I guess, I guess as like a do-it-yourselfer, which most of my guys are watching this is doing themselves. Right. As compared to a commercial account that's right. spending, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of dollars with an account. Correct. Of course, you're going to want to make them happy. Right. But if you had to rank it, right, <laughs> if you had to go... Boom, boom, boom. Ah, they're, they're so all over the place. They're so all over the map that it's, it's really hard to say. I mean, some of them have better parts. Some of them have better delivery. No. You know, it, 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 it bounces around. It's got very corporate, though, these, these days, the, the days of the, the one-stop, you know, auto, auto parts. And, you know, people may have heard of one-stop. And so the one-of-one spots like Rancho Auto Parts and things yeah. like that, those days of having those small mom and pops are pretty well gone. Right. Um, CarQuest, O'Reilly. Well, not so much O'Reilly, but I think Advanced, right? They went on a big buy to buy a lot of auto parts. So a lot of things have changed in this business over the years, as, as they should and as they needed to. You know, so I, I feel very fortunate that we've kind of stayed up with that stuff. Um, but parts have been hard to find. Um, we're waiting a day for things that we used to have, you know, right on the shelf, things like that. O'Reilly's done a really good job of keeping things, you know, their inventory, you know, full. More so than Napa or uh, AutoZone? Well, eh, not necessarily. I mean... We, we're affiliated with both. You know, I'm a Napa Auto Care Center, so therefore that means we offer three years, 36,000 miles on all parts, whether we buy them from Napa or not. Napa is very deep um, caring about their customers. If you break down, they stand behind it. So um, I'm proud to be a Napa Auto Care Center. I've got the, you know, the sign on the building, you know, so I, I like that. O'Reilly's is close. You know, there's just so much that goes into it. Uh, there's just really... Yeah, but you got to there's really, <laughs> I can't rank them really. There's a lot that goes. There's a lot that goes into it. Doug will get in trouble with all the Napa and Correct. the O'Reillys down there. But me, me would go O'Reilly, Napa, AutoZone. All right. Well, that's fair enough. <laughs> um, and then Pet Boys is like way down here. I think Pet Boys is kind of slowly disappearing. They're gone. Yeah, I think they're pretty well gone. I think so. they're gone out of California. Yeah, yeah it's possible. So. so, you know, it's it's one of those things. You know, parts, car parts, and being able to sell it to the customer at a price that's affordable, profitable, and all that, it's, a, it's not an easy it's, thing to it's do. It's a tough game, too, because you have Amazon now. Mm, yes. You can buy parts from, and then you also have uh, rockauto.com. Right. Stay away from eBay, because there's a lot of counterfeit parts out there that destroy your engine. But there's lots of stuff out there that doesn't work at all, you know, that right. really it may look and feel like a car part, but it isn't, like you're saying. 
you know, they, they sell all the stuff and, you know, we, we see that, we see that, those pitfalls. Now we're not opposed. There's times where we have older cars and things that you can't find. And, and occasionally there's the, the one of one guy on eBay that's amazing, you know, yeah. that, that saves your, saves your bacon. Saves your tail. Right. You know, so, so, you know, it's one of those things as being an independent owner of an auto repair business, I have a lot of latitude on what I can do and where we can source things from. But I think it's all about clarity and honesty and transparency. I think that's the big word, right? Transparency. Yeah, but if I, yeah, right? right. I'm going to pivot, transparency, all right. these keywords we're throwing around right. now. Yep. Move the needle. Right. But, right. <laughs> uh, you know. I mean, if uh, I, okay, if I was a local O'Reilly store manager, right? Yep. I'd be kissing your butt. There's no and if well, about yeah, it, right? Maybe yes, maybe no. It is all depends. Now, I will say that we do get pizza and things like that. You know, from time to time for these guys, so I have to do definitely a shout out, you know, to them for, <laughs> for that kind of stuff. Trips to so, Disneyland. No, 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 that stuff. Cruises. But, but uh, you know, they do good stuff. So, yeah, there's yeah. so many good part sources out there. World Pack, right, is, is amazing. See, but most um, the common man doesn't have access to World Pack. No, you Pack. don't. That's true. That's World true. Pack is, so, a, is a shop only kind of thing. Right, exactly. Just but, more of a wholesale type well, deal. Well, appreciate your time. Yeah, very, very Doug, it's great yeah. seeing you. Yeah, thank you so much. Guys, I'll put just, uh, links down in the description below to his shop, all the stuff we've talked about, um, other, you know, uh, Chris Nosalek's shop up in Orange County. Yep. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you can, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys later.